I'm Robin Eve Cole. I'm an interior designer and I had an opportunity to do a project here, a whole attic remodel where I was going to be turning a base place into a complete man cave. So last year I did a couple bedrooms for a showcase house for the Children's Support League here in Piedmont. And this year they called me again, said there's another home and that they were going to be doing several different rooms. And they said there's this other space, I don't think you'd be interested, nobody is, it's kind of raw space, it's up in the attic. Do you want to just take a look at it? And I went upstairs and I went, holy cow, it was fabulous. It was at that time about 1,500 square feet of raw space. The problem was that there was asbestos on the floor, the ceiling was about six foot three, the space was cramped and tight, there was almost no light that came in, no heating, no air conditioning, no insulation, no plumbing. There was just old, old uh, electrical, kind of a fire hazard, and it was clear that the whole thing would have to be a complete remodel. The three biggest challenges are one, we were working with a homeowner who did want to be able to buy in and make decisions on all the different aspects of the project, but they didn't even know what we were going to be finding. We were tearing out walls and we were discovering amazing 70-foot trusses. We'd have to go back to the homeowner and kind of renegotiate exactly what the scope of the project was going to be because we had new discoveries and new cool things that we could incorporate into it. As we added more cool things, that really uh, compressed the time element. And we were already up against an incredible time crunch. So having to work with the time situation and coordinating all of these fellows who are accustomed to working sequentially, now everybody had to be kind of weeding in and out on top of each other. There were days when I came in here and it looked like an anthill. There were like seven different contractors working in their own areas, accommodating each other in the kindest, most considerate ways. Well, hello. Here we are, seven and a half weeks later, and we're in the completed project. It turned out great, and no small thanks to every single person who was knocking themselves out to make this work. We're sitting right now in the bar. This was the original space that we started the interview in. At that time, it was raw. There was no ceiling. There was no walls. There was barely a floor. I was sitting on a pile of sheetrock. And now we have our completed space. I think you'll enjoy it. Come on. This is actually one of my favorite places. We used to have a wall here when we first came up the stairs. And we opened up the wall and discovered that we still had a higher level that wasn't floor level. So when we took that out, we realized that we could make a little bench seat here. So we just built this in, upholstered it, actually it's carpeting, and created a bench that's right across from the bar. That gave us a lot more seating for this area. The other thing that was so cool, my favorite really, is that we had a small, um, old-fashioned, 85-year-old skylight. It was wired glass, it was all painted over, and it was just sitting in this little space right here. We couldn't see out of it. We decided we would just replace it and get a little more light into the area. When we pulled that window out, we stuck our heads out and went, oh my God, there's a deck on the roof that the clients had known nothing about. You couldn't see it from the ground, and it afforded a 180-degree view of San Francisco. This is the stadium area. It's really fun. Again, we had a long closet that went all the way down, very, very low ceiling, lousy floor, and we pulled out the closet. But then we discovered that, again, the floor wasn't level all the way across. There was a little bit of a lip that you had to step up on. And in order to protect people from bumping into it, I felt that I had to put something on the raised area so they'd be very aware of it. Here we are in the game room, the great room. This room started out with a very low ceiling and it was all closed in. So we blew out the ceiling, opened it up to the rafters and just lit the heck out of it. In addition, the homeowner, Guy, wanted it to feel, he said, like a steakhouse. So that meant that we were gonna have to really give it a warm feel. There was an existing paneling here, but it was like a cardboard paneling. It was just a really cheap thing. But Chris Kent, amazing painter, did a five-step process, staining and, and um, gelling and putting different layers of color onto the walls so we have a very warm feel right now, as well as the beautiful chestnut colored floor. We went back to the homeowner and said, what do you have that you want to be able to feature in here? Well, of course he wanted to have a game table, a pool table, which is a beautiful one. And also his wife wanted a shuffleboard table because she's a really good player. So we brought up a 12-foot shuffleboard table over the roof, in through the skylight, placing it over here in this area. And then he had a whole wonderful collection of, of uh, jerseys 
So we added the jerseys, we framed them, we hung them up. The last one arrived uh, three days ago. So we just got the Michael Jordan autographed jersey and put it up on the wall at the last minute. Everything about the room, all the angles of the, um, uh, the jerseys, it's, everything is very square and very angular and very straight, very much a guy's kind of space. So we needed to balance it out. So I put in some fun lighting um, on a cable that's very bendable and with lights that are very whimsical. Kind of lightened it up and, and gave a little bit more fun. After seven and a half weeks of knocking ourselves out, working incredibly late hours, and putting in a lot of stressful time, this is where I've been wanting to be. Curled up on a comfy sofa in the man cave, watching TV in the game room at the theater end. The area is great for family, and the day after we were done, which is just like last night, um, they invited 25 of their neighbors over, and that was it. It's a total success.